Today we're going to be talking about the Walther Hammer Lee TAC R122C. This rifle is chambered in 22 long rifle, making it, in my opinion, the champion of plinking. In this video, we're going to be going over what we like and dislike about this rifle. Stick around, and if you enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe because it helps us out a lot. But that's enough of that, let's get to the review. Before we start this review, this firearm is indeed clear and there's no ammo in this mag. The Hammerly TAC R122C is the first 22 long rifle in their new defense line. Hammerly is a Swiss manufacturer of mostly air and rimfire Olympic style competition firearms. They're owned by the Walther Group. The firearm itself, however, is manufactured in Germany by Umarex, who is also part of the Walther Group. The rifle features a 16.1 inch barrel with a medium contour and has a birdcage flash hider affixed to the front via 1 half by 28 threads. It has an overall length of 35.8 inches and weighs around 5 pounds 12 ounces. The upper and lower receivers both are constructed out of aluminum. The trigger guard is all one piece with the lower receiver. Moving on to the pistol grip. It's very similar to your traditional Magpul grip. It's got a very ergonomic shape and it also has this really good texturing that they put on it. The handguard itself is a 13 inch free float handguard with M-lock attachments on the left, the bottom, and the right. Currently I have my Forda shift grip affixed to the bottom via M-lock and this is a fantastic pairing for this rifle. The rifle also has QD sling points on the rear of the handguard on both sides. One cool feature about this rifle is it has an adjustable gas system, so whatever 22 long rifle ammo you are shooting, it can be adjusted for it. The stock is one of my favorite parts about this rifle and one of my favorite stocks I've ever used actually. It's got five stages of different points it can adjust to, as well as this really thick rubber butt pad on it. It also features QD sling points on both sides. The top of the rifle has a Picatinny rail running all the way down from the receiver to the handguard. The rifle also comes with a set of these flip up sights that are made out of polymer and they're honestly pretty decent. I wouldn't say they're any of the Magpul M buses, but they're definitely decent. The rifle itself comes with one 20 round magazine, but you could purchase 10 and 30 rounds online. Now this rifle may look like your traditional AR-15, but in terms of functionality, it's actually very different. First of all, the bolt release here is purely just for show. It doesn't do anything. The charging handle itself on this gun is significantly shorter than your traditional AR-15. It's about two inches, I'd say, fully pulled back. Additionally, the rifle has this forward assist that doesn't really do much besides just has a little feel and give to it. On this rifle, the bolt is released using the charging handle. The bolt will also lock back when there's an empty mag in the gun. Moving on to one of the things I actually dislike about this rifle is the trigger. It has a crisp break and not much give to it, but it's breaks at about 8.5 pounds. The rifle also doesn't allow for standard AR-15 triggers, so if you want to replace this, you're out of luck. And if you're like me and you like customizing your rifles, there really isn't much you could do. Another thing I'm not too big of a fan of is the actual finish they put on this gun. As you can see, it's already being shipped in quite a few places and I take pretty good care of this. But besides that, it's not a deal breaker. Overall, I will say this rifle is perfect if you're looking for something to plink with or just want to save money on ammo at the range. The recoil is literally non-existent due to the fact it's a 22, making it a lot of fun to mag dump. The rifle is fantastic for new shooters to get introduced to the world of AR-15s without having the power and recoil of a 5.56 round. Well, there you have it, everyone. An honest review of the Hammerly TAC R122C. 
After purchasing this rifle, I can wholeheartedly say I'll be supporting Walther and more of their 22 long rifle products. Let us know in the comments what your favorite 22 long rifle is. We would love to hear it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe because it really does help out. As always, everyone, stay safe and have fun shooting. Thank you.